Hello friends, welcome to the spy. So before I start, let me inform you that every image of Tavista you seen in video and will see later are only fictional and conspiracy based. There are not any clear image of Tavista exist on the earth till the release of this video. So Tavista or you can say Boyazin star or KIC 8462852. It has many names which uh, uh, you can see here. So what is TV star and where it is? As its name, it is a star, F type star, larger than our sun and uh, surface temperature varies between 6000 Kelvin to 7600 Kelvin. It is 1470 lighter far from our, our earth in constellation Cygnus between the bright star Dinav and Delta Cygni as you can see in this map given here on upper right side and uh, it was discovered under the Kepler mission of NASA we will talk about it later in this video now what is uh, Cygnus constellation so Cygnus constellation is, uh, is a constellation in northern area of our Milky Way located along with its plane it is most significant and visible in summer and autumn of north. The Denab is first magnitude star of Cygnus constellation. Uh, magnitude stars are the brightest star in the night sky. Then Delta Cygni is a binary star system. Binary star system means uh, it consists of two stars and it is 166.3 lighter far from our earth. And uh, this is the peak of uh, binary star system. Uh, actually, it is the birth of binary star system. Here you can see uh, two stars at the mid. And if there will any uh, planetary system will form, then each and every planet will will rotate around the both sun. So, the question is why are we talking about tabby star why and what is abnormal with it so on 27 january 2016 tabitha boyazin an assistant professor of physics and astronomy at lsu louisiana state university published a document under the planet hunters citizen scientist group planet hunters is a citizen scientist research group of zooniverse and the zooniverse is the largest and most popular people powered research platform so the document was a research paper of four year duration in which she uh, means tabitha boyazin firstly it described that uh, kic 8462852 showed shows irregular brightness dimming patterns there are many dips in its brightness which are abnormal respect to time duration and brightness level but uh, there are almost every star shows dimming in brightness so why it is abnormal here so dips in brightness of a star is more regular at certain level when it happens at specific time duration with specific loss in brightness for example, scientists of Max Planck Institute revealed that the sunlight is reduced by 5 times in past 9000 years. It is also reported by Kepler Space Telescope. But in the case of KIC 8462852, the dip is very irregular and the decrease in brightness is at a large level, like around 20-24%. After this research paper, the KIC 8462852 was named as Tabby's star or Boyazin star in the honor of Tabitha Boyazin. And here are all light curves of Tabby's star observed between 2009 to 2020. This is 1st of December 2009 to May 2013. Here on left is flux rate and uh, you can see the falls are very sharp. This is a specific state of 5th March 2011 and here you can see more and large data of flux fall. This is a specific state of 28th February 2013 as you seen in first one. 
and uh, this is of April 17, 2013. And uh, this data is of May 2, 2017 to May 4, 2018. And this last one is of October 2019 to Jan 11, 2020. And this one is consolidated plot of all known deemings till March 2020. And here you can clearly observe the irregularity in both the time duration and brightness level. As I said, I will brief you on Kepler mission of NASA. So let's start now. Kepler mission was launched on 7th March 2009 and it started science observation on 13th May 2009. The nominal mission was finished almost after 4 years on 12th May 2013. KIC 8462852 means uh, Tavis star was observed throughout the main Kepler mission. The scientific objective of the Kepler mission was to explore the structure and diversity of planetary system. And uh, you should also know that uh, Kepler mission was one of the most successful mission of NASA. If you want to know more about Kepler mission, so just comment it. Till now, we almost discussed every topic, but uh, one is still remaining. That to what caused dips? What are the reasons behind the joint dips? So when you google it, you will find thousands of results and each one will tell you that uh, its content is true. But I want to clear you that according to NASA, SETI, University of Arizona, American Astronomical Society, there are only two possibilities. First is the, is the dust and the second and last is Dyson Sphere. And the Dyson Sphere is most desirable concept. But the science is not to work on desires, it works on truth, evidences and possibilities. And this is the end of the first part and next will arrive soon. In next video, I will give you detailed information of these two possibilities, dust and Dyson sphere. So if you want to keep yourself updated, then just follow or subscribe my channel. You can find the spy on both Instagram and YouTube and also on Twitter, link in description. And if you want to uh, read the whole article, then just visit our site, the spy, link in description. Again, as I said, if you want a video on Kepler Mission NASA, then please comment it. Thank you.